Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Noah Gragson's 2021 Bass Pro Shops True Timber Chevy Camaro. This is his third full-time season in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Not been a great year. He had six DNFs, all of them very early in the year. Just like a really rotten start to the year. But he is locked in the playoffs, or not locked in, but he's doing just fine on points. He's had pretty good runs as a recent. Um, especially, I mean, he's right on par for where the nine should run, frankly. Uh, I would love to see if they would ever swap the crew chiefs on the one and the nine in the playoffs there might be some real potential for a championship but uh, I do not think he's gonna win anything with the current team that they're in so uh, anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the die cast and get into that so uh, it is the autographed edition which means you do get the certificate of authenticity from junior motorsports which is a business card kind of neat um, now let's go ahead and take a look at our artwork for 2021. So there you see, uh, we've got Noah Gregson up there um, on the artwork here. So you can see there's a picture of him on the right side, the number nine, Junior Motorsports. And then you got his logo, Noah Gregson and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Over here, you can see we've got 2021. Uh, we got the number nine and the hologram. I actually really think this looks pretty cool for this edge of the box. It's very bright compared to uh, past years. We've got Noah Gregson, the number nine, and Junior Motorsports. Lionel Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR. And over here we go to the quantity. We've got uh, 100 or sorry, 324 of the autographed 2021 Camaros. I uh, I believe to this day all of my Noahs are autographed. Um, that's just how I, I like them. He's he's plenty easy to get stuff signed. My sister got some of her cars signed, but that's maybe that's why. So she can get her car signed. I'm never focused on getting his his autograph. Maybe that's it. But let's go ahead and take a look at this car. It is the same paint scheme as last year. A couple tiny tweaks, but uh, for the most part, it is just a a clean version of last year's car from Daytona. You can see we got Bass Pro Shops on the hood. We got Johnny Morris. We've got Black, Black Rifle Collie. Ah, Black Rifle Coffee and True Timber on the hood. Uh, we've got Xfinity and Gregson up there on the uh, windshield banner. And then we got his signature on the uh, windshield along with the Junior Motorsports hologram. Uh, as you go down the left side, you can see we've got our metallic silver going here. The yellow and orange stripe kind of going up the side. Um, if anyone didn't know, this is the same exact paint scheme for Chase Elliott's Napa car. Well, sorry. From 2019 and 2018. Uh, no, sorry, just 2019. This is a 2019 Napa car as far as the paint scheme goes. Um, except instead of blue, we get camo. And instead of white, we get silver. I think it looks great. I think this is a way better option. Just because of the the, uh, the True Timber camo. But um, yeah, so that is the paint scheme. Uh, as far as these lines, those are the Napa colors normally. This time they just happen to be uh, orange and yellow. We got Black, Black Rifle Coffee Company. We have the Ethanol Ring. True Timber camo. Uh, Bass Pro Shops, American Flag, and Exalta. There you see we got Noah Gregson up there on the name rail. The big number nine on the roof. We got Gregson on the rear window. And the DIN number is 199. Onto the tail of the car. You can see we got TrueTimber.com, number nine. Uh, and then the True Timber logo on the left. Also on the deck lid, we have True Timber. Uh, so they actually sponsor the deck lid and the rear bumper. Uh, as we go to the right side, it is the same as the left. Nothing really crazy there. We got True Timber, though, on this side instead of Black Rifle. Uh, their Black Rifle's down here instead, so they kind of flip-flopped. Um, hmm. Yeah, the 9 actually leans forward on this one. Kind of weird. Uh, it's normal, but it just looks, seemed I never noticed it. So uh, There you see the number 9. We got Xfinity, Mobile One, ARP. Uh, we can see Goodyear up here. And obviously, also on the wheels. Uh, we get around back to the nose of the car. You can see instead of the yellow, we have the orange. Um mark here on the bumper then we have our true timber camo and bass pro shops on the hood number nine on one side junior motorsports on the other and the rest of this is nice clean detail uh let's go ahead and take a look um underneath the hood and see what we got there so under the hood there you can see we have a pretty basic engine i mean very very basic just a silver valve covers and a silver air filter container the rest of it's just a plastic block and chevy is what they have under the hood for the sponsor Underneath the car, you can see just a plastic chassis, no opposable wheels, and you do have some individual tailpipes, but that is it. Nothing crazy there. And, uh, yeah, as far as the wheels, just the basic plastic wheels. Uh, that can be um, upgraded with a little bit of just model paint, and we'll go into that at some point uh, when I have actual time to sit down and use some model paint. <laughs> so uh, today is not that day, but I, I am definitely... Uh, definitely have a, a list of them that I would like to get that done on. So, uh, anyway... That is pretty much all there is to show off on the Noah Gregson car this year. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, turn on the notification bell and subscribe for more diecast content. Make sure, if you haven't already, uh, hit that thumbs up if, if you did like it. Um, but other than that, this has been Race Craze. Thank you all for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.